Hey girls, Lexi Luxury here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing yet another recreating Pinterest outfits video. This is specifically going to be for summer to fall transition outfits. Even though I live in Florida and even though it is definitely a hot climate over here, I still am feeling the urge to start grabbing my loafers, to start grabbing my layering pieces. I fear the fall season is nearing. It's nearing. By the way, before we dive in, I do have a Pinterest. So if you're into Pinterest, which I assume you are if you're watching this video, make sure you follow my Pinterest account. That's where I post all of my outfits, tons of cute little aesthetic things, you know, Pinterest stuff. I will have that linked in the description box down below. And you can also follow my other social media links if you want to support me. If you're new here, hello, join the fam. Turn on your post notifications if you love me. I post a new video every single weekend and almost every single day on shorts. I pride myself on keeping you fed with entertainment. You're welcome. Other than that, if you want to give this video a big ass thumbs up, it helps me out so much. Now let's get into these recreations, shall we? Starting off with a banger as we typically do. When I saw this outfit, I immediately, immediately wanted to recreate it. Now I will say right off the rip, there's some items I don't have. I do not have brown loafers, need them. Trust me, added those to the thrift list. I don't have a t-shirt that fits this way. That's exactly that color. I also don't have a red hat. So this is gonna be a very <laughs> loose recreation. I'm not trying to copy the outfit exactly. I'm just letting it, you know, get the gears turning. So without further ado, let me show you how I created this outfit. First outfit, let's get into it. Oh. My goodness, it's slaying, if I do say so myself. We have some very obvious differences. Let's dive into them. I'm not wearing a hat. I'm not wearing a short sleeve. I'm not wearing striped shorts, nor am I wearing loafers with socks. But the general color scheme is kind of what I wanted to stay on key with. And also just the overall vibe. I love the baggy top with the tiny little shorts and like the red and the gray. So this is my variation. Let's dive in. Starting at the top. My favorite glasses these days. These are from Amazon. For the necklaces, I have my typical stack, these two necklaces I always wear. And then this is my pearl necklace, but I added my little Louis Vuitton locket onto there. I fear I'm obsessed. I fear this is going to be a part of my daily stack now, at least if the pearls make sense, you know? Rings are the same as per usual. Haven't gotten any new ones. I will let you guys know when I do. Just like normal, all of the links for my jewelry will be within one link in the description box down below. I'm not gonna link them to the outside outfits, but I'll have a jewelry link. It'll be obvious. Just go down there. Okay. Okay. Anyways, this cardigan is so warm. A uh, thrifted cardigan, super old bralette from Victoria's Secret. And side note, if you're wondering why the boobs look amazed, um, it's because I wear those Boomba inserts. I will also put those in the description box down below if you're a part of the itty bitty titty committee and you like to look like you have a little something, but you're afraid of a boob job. Same girl, same. Um, you're welcome. I'll link them down below. Oh, and I bra tucked this as well, which was really awkward because this is a very tiny bralette and there's not a lot of room to like, but I made it happen. I made it happen. Thrifted little handbag, Amazon bloomers, Dre jewelry for the belt, and then the gorgeous boots from Nasty Gal. Super old. I try to link cute similar options for you guys because they are unavailable, unfortunately. I know, I'm so sorry, but don't worry. If you like the style of these, I'll find a style that is equally as iconic. I fear I love this outfit. Unfortunately, I won't be able to wear this exact outfit for a few months just because this cardigan is like fleece lined. And like I said, I'm sweating right now. I'm sweating right now. And it's 75 degrees in my house. So explain that. We're probably gonna have to wait till it starts dipping into the low 70s, high 60s for this fit but I will absolutely be wearing her. I cannot wait until I can step out of the house in this. This has me written all over it. Specifically like the baggy top with the little shorts, which is what I got from the inspo. But I also just love like the fun pop of color and the fact that I did this off shoulder. I feel like it just gives it more of like a chilled vibe. I love how casual it is while still being extremely stylish. You guys know those are some of my favorite outfits. Yeah, no notes whatsoever. Next up, we have a cutie little outfit. This is giving me like Gossip Girl Academia vibes all in one. Plaid pattern skirt. The denim vest with the button down is an absolute sleigh. And I do love her bag and boots. However, those are two items that I will definitely need to modify, if you will. But the overall vibe of this is so cute. It's so chic and it's a little bit sexy. All three things that I love. So let me show you how I recreated this. Outfit two, this is giving me all the academia fall vibes that I need without being too warm. I still like to layer 
even though I'm in a warm climate, and this outfit can definitely be modified to be warmer if you do live in a colder climate, you know, go in your closet, girl, put on some tights, wear a trench coat, you're good. This outfit's definitely closer to the inspo than the last outfit, so let's dive in. Same little necklaces you guys saw, same jewelry, all the same. Also the same bralette. This little collared blouse situation, it's from Revolve. It's super down, I believe. I absolutely love this. This is the top that I typically will use as a layering piece if I want to have a little collar or a long sleeve underneath. It doesn't have any buttons and it just wraps up. I do believe it's sold out, but I usually like something somewhat similar for you guys. This vest is also old. It's from Miss Lola. Love a denim vest. I know that in the inspo, her vest is all buttoned up and it looks super gorgeous, but hers is definitely more like snatched. This vest isn't perfectly fitted to my body, so it was just kind of giving like awkward rectangle it just wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. You know, like I would want it to be super snatched for this outfit specifically. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna open it up, put a bralette underneath and it actually looks great. You could also opt for like a lacy bodysuit if you wanted that extra layer with some texture but didn't want, you know, your skin all out and about. I know it's a little much, but like... <laughs> That's just how I do. The beloved plaid skirt that I thrifted in my last Thrift With Me vlog. I believe it's from Aeropostale originally. I have no idea how old it is, but I'm obsessed with it. It fits me perfectly. I wanted to add a little something here. It was looking a little blah, a little bland. You know me, I love a little gold. So I had to add my Dre jewelry chain belt. And then I used my little Gucci Marmot mini bag. Even though I absolutely love her brown YSL, I think that's a stunning bag. By the way, I feel like that is a timeless bag. I'm realizing now in my closet that I might wanna start purchasing more brown. Brown loafers, brown leather jackets, brown bags. Putting that on my wish list. But anyways, opted for this instead. I think she's perfect with the outfit. And then for the boots, she has these stunning brown long suede boots, they match her bag perfectly. I don't have brown boots like that, but went for my loafers, cause these just look so good with this outfit and loafers just scream fall to me. Like I'm just obsessed with this. This is a perfect fall transitional outfit functionality wise for the heat in Florida or a warmer climate. So I hope this gave you some inspo. Let's move on. Okay, for this third outfit, we're gonna sex it up a little bit. This little number is a vibe. I just love the overall shape and silhouette of this outfit. I love me a good blazer. You guys know I love like a structured piece and a blazer is just so good for that. Specifically, I like blazers with shoulder pads. It looks like she has some shoulder pads going on here. And then we have like cutie tiny little pieces underneath. She's definitely wearing what looks to be a set. I don't have a matching black set, but I have a black top and a black mini skirt. So I'll for sure be using that. I feel like I've seen this outfit combination so many times with like a high rise skirt but the low rise with like the high neck top mm, I'm just loving this so without further ado let me show you how I recreated this outfit outfit three hello this is probably the closest to the photo that we've gotten so far. Black blazer, black top, black low rise mini skirt. Changed up the bag. Didn't want to do sunglasses with this. I just felt like these felt more natural for me. And I don't know what shoes she's wearing, but the boots, once I put these on, it was a wrap. This blazer is thrifted. I believe it's BB or BCBG. I love her. I love the little buckle detail in the back. She's so stunning. She also has these little zippers on the side so you can kind of play with the silhouette a little bit more. I just absolutely love this. It's one of my favorite thrift finds. This top I actually bra tucked a little bit but it only scoops down to about here. It's still pretty high. It's old from Nasty Gal. If I can find it, I'll link it because it was so inexpensive and I wear it quite often. Like it's definitely a wardrobe staple for me. This mini score, you guys have seen her. We love her. We style her often. She's from Revolve. I do believe she's still available. Fingers crossed, you know the drill with that. And then these boots are unfortunately sold out the last time I checked. I think they might've had like one size in stock, but I'll try to find some comparable for you because I just love the little dip in the front. I love that they're not exactly pointed, but they're pointed enough. The heel on them is just perfect. They're so comfy. They're a splurge, girl, they are a splurge. I'm not even gonna hold you, okay? Like they were gifted to me from Revolve. I probably wouldn't have spent that much on them, but I mean, they're worth it. They're worth every penny. I will say that. And then for the bag, she has like a gorgeous Chanel like boy bag situation. I just needed some fun in the outfit. So of course I opted for my little leopard print handbag. And I think she just was the icing on the cake. I will 1000% be wearing this outfit when it is climate appropriate. But I feel like once again, this is another true fall transitional outfit when it's still a little bit warm out, but you want to cover up just a tiny bit. You're getting a little chill. You might have a goose bump, you know, if you just go out with bare arms. Here you go. Anyways, I'll give you the final look. You know the drill. And then let's move on. All 
Oh, I'm so excited for this next outfit. I love that the top is like super flowy, long sleeve, creamy, and then the legs are just bare. Like, yes, absolutely. Now I do not have the boots that this gorgeous woman has, unfortunately, because they're stunning. Like, hello. I don't even know what designer makes these boots. I don't know if I've ever seen boots like these before. Suddenly I need them, suddenly I need them. Anyways, we will modify as I will be using items from my closet. Since I don't have a top exactly like this, I think I wanna use that ruffled top that I thrifted in my last Thrift With Me video. You know the one, you know the one. We're gonna bust her out again. And then I think we're also gonna use another item from that thrift trip. My little khaki express shorts that I found. I think that'll be perfect for this outfit. Anyways, let me, put something together and show you what I come up with. Yay, I love this one. I mean, surprise, I love them all, as I always do, but let's dive in. Glasses, Amazon. The top, as you guys know, we thrifted in my last Thrift With Me vlog. She is beauty, she is grace, she is stunning. The shorts I also thrifted, but they are from Express. They look almost identical to the girls in the photo, so slay. Heels, these are Super old for misguided, but I link a Nine West version for you guys. And then, like I said, I just opted for my cream bag because I just felt like it went better. My husband's bringing in groceries if you're wondering what that background noise is. Overall, I love this outfit. Obviously, I could like layer more stuff underneath. I just have like a little lacy bralette going on. But yeah, that's the full outfit. I tucked my jewelry in because I just like the way it looked without it. I just feel like this looks so much more chic, but let me give you the final look and let's move on. Okay, let's class it up here, shall we? This outfit is just so chic. Oversized sweater, cute little mini skirt, high black boots with some socks peeking out. Stunnerella. I don't even have a striped sweater like this, but I do have a creamy one with a different neckline that I think I can pull off to turn into a cute little outfit. But other than that, I should be able to recreate this pretty spot on for the most part. So let me show you how I did this. Okay, I love this outfit. She's a little simple for my taste, but honestly, every now and then I do love a, a simple outfit. One thing about me, I love a little knitted sock or leg warmer peeking out of a tall boot. It just does something to me. Yeah, I absolutely had to make that happen. We love her, let's dive in. I added my little tennis necklace. Absolutely love her. I linked something similar, although this is from Dre originally. These are Amazon. This sweater is super old from Forever 21. When I say super old, I mean I've had this girl. It's quite possibly over 10 years old. Obviously, I've deemed her a staple. If she's still in my closet today. We have my Steve Madden skort here for the boots. We have the same boots you guys saw earlier from Revolve. And then I did put leg warmers under here. I actually cut my leg warmers in half, which I've been meaning to do. I didn't just do it for this outfit. I just had like really, really long leg warmers and they looked really clunky when I would scrunch them up. So I cut them in half and then I kind of just tucked them into the boot and they look so good. I just didn't have socks that were this long. Although I do intend on getting more stockings, but I mean, this is perfect. This gives me the exact style that I want without having to wear super long socks inside, which once again for Florida, just makes more sense, more sense. This little bag is by a brand called Open, A-U-P-E-N. I do believe it's sold out. I'll try to find something similar for you guys. Yeah, like I said, she's very simple, but she's very classy. Any outfit that gives me a mini skirt and tall boots is a win in my book. Let's move on. Back to another all black look. This photo of Paige Lorenz, I believe she's in Paris, just looks absolutely stunning. The tights with the boots, with the short shorts and the leather jacket and the sunnies, like 10 out of 10. I wouldn't change a freaking thing. However, there are gonna be a few things that I change seeing as I don't have the exact top or the exact tights. I think I might try my fleece line tights with this, but let me stop yapping. Let me just show you how I put it together. <laughs> Not me genuinely sweating in this outfit. Like I'm not meant to be wearing a leather jacket right now. So right off the rip, I hate the fleece line tights. I would immediately take them off if I didn't have boots and another pair of shorts on top of them. But I did want to show you guys the vibes of how I will be styling my micro shorts and my short skirts 
into the colder months because yes, I'm still gonna be wearing them, absolutely. Last year when I purchased these fleece line tights, I was not as tan and obviously the undertones are just completely off so I will definitely be on the hunt for some that are more black girl friendly because what is this? Other than that, I do love the outfit. This is something that I absolutely will be wearing. I know her leather jacket is much smaller. I actually tried on a smaller leather jacket with this outfit and it just did not look right. This jacket is thrifted. This top is from Amazon. It's like a scoop front, but I put it on backwards. There's no tag, so I don't know if it's like meant to be reversible or backwardsable. I don't know. Anyways, this is how I wear this top sometimes. The bloomers that we all know and love, these are addicted. The tights are from Amazon. Please look at these tights underneath here. They're meant to be like high-waisted, so they go all the way up to here. I had to flip them inside out and then put my shorts on. So the shorts look a little funky. That's something I'll have to keep in mind when I buy new fleece line tights. Like, I guess I'll have to see if they have a low rise option. I don't know if those exist. I don't know. And the boots, we've seen them a hundred times. And the purse is thrifted. Oh, and then I did put sunglasses on my head because she's wearing sunglasses in the photo. Overall, I do love this outfit. I just literally hate the tights. I think they're heinous. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll give you the final look and then let's move on. Okay, next up we have an outfit that I think screams fall. I'm obsessed with this woman's blazer. Love the little shoulder bag with it. The orange underneath with the green. Mm, there's just something about orange and green in the fall. It's just so Gilmore Girls. It's so hot tea in the evening. I will say right off the rip, I think I'm gonna do shorts instead of jeans. Fingers crossed, let me show you what I came up with. Let's get into it. Obviously, this is very different. I'm not wearing pants, first and foremost. But other than that, I mean, the general idea of the outfit is pretty spot on to the inspo. As soon as I saw the burnt orange top that she was wearing, I was like, okay, immediately grabbing my lacy bodysuit, popping it under this blazer, which has like a hound's tooth pattern to it. And if you look really closely, there is some purple, which was my idea for the bag, that's why I paired this. If you're like, Lexi, why the fuck is there a purple bag? Like, yes, I was trying to pull out the purple in the blazer. Normally I would do a black bag, so I'm wearing black belt and black heels, but the bags just were not giving, the shapes weren't shaping, it didn't look right. This shape is proper, there's a little bit of purple in the blazer, and also I like the orange with this color purple. Like, this color combo is this way. So, in all reality, this is what I'd wear, so there we go. For the most part, I feel like we did a good job. So let's dive in, let's dive in. I did actually take off my pearls. They did not look right with this outfit, so I popped on my little thrifted flower chain. This blazer is thrifted. Bodysuit is old from Princess Polly, and so is the belt. I actually might have gotten both of these in the same haul years and years and years ago. Shorts are old from Boohoo. You guys have seen these a million trillion times. I will link similar. Bag is also thrifted for my first thrift with me video. And the heels are my trusty dusty pointed toe black pumps, my Steve Madden heels. I'll tell you what I love about this outfit. I love the texture. Anytime I wear this bodysuit, I just absolutely love the texture that it gives. The pattern of this is fun. I love the shorts with the blazer. I love a good like distressed denim piece with like a classy chic item. That is one of my favorite combinations and I just knew immediately I wanted to do the denim shorts as soon as I saw her jeans in this photo. Other than that, I mean, this is just an outfit that I typically would love. It's got a good combination of casual and chic. It's fun, it's flirty, it's serious but not too serious. You know what I mean? Like, she's a little cunty. We love her. Let me give you the final look and then let's move on. Okay, final outfit. You guys know I love to do a little casual outfit to finish off. So what better pin to recreate than this one? We've got an oversized white t-shirt, baggy low-rise denim jeans, and Uggs. This is like my uniform in the fall season. I definitely have every single one of these items minus the gorgeous monogram denim vintage Louis Vuitton. So let me show you how I recreated it. Final outfit and actually one of my favorites surprisingly enough you guys know i love to finish off with like a casual look halfway because i'm just dead by the time i'm done with these videos and another reason is just because i feel like i need to throw in a casual outfit for you guys like this is an extremely wearable outfit it's so freaking comfortable like i'm so happy to be in this right now you don't even understand and also this is a variation of an outfit that i wear 24 7. let's get into it amazon glasses i have all of my jewelry on now minus that pearl chain and the lock thrifted bag i'm just absolutely obsessed with this 
style of this bag. This is my trusty dusty white t-shirt. I love her. I wear her to filth. This is an H&M men's t-shirt. Just like their basic standard t-shirt. They almost always have them in the store. I got it in a size up for my normal size. So I got a medium instead of a small. And it's just the perfect oversized fit. I just absolutely love this. Pants are my Revolve Low Rise. I believe they're called the Bella Pants. They're by the brand BDG. You guys see these a million trillion times. They are a splurge. But I feel like if you've been watching me, you know I wear these all the time. And they're definitely worth it. But of course, I know not everybody has like $200 to $300 to spend on one pair of jeans. But if you're on the fence, I wear these constantly. If you like a low rise baggy pair of jeans, they're fucking fantastic. I love that she cuffed them over in the photo. Because these do kind of hang off of me a little bit precariously i'm not gonna lie like honestly to be honest with you they probably just need to wash and dry but yeah i love i love the fact that these are cuffed over they look really cute that way i'm definitely gonna wear these jeans like that more often and then for the shoes we have the ugg dupes actually um these are one of those random brands on amazon i'm sure there's still a million on there of course i'll link something for you guys if i can't find the exact ones here she is girls the final outfit we did it anyways i'll leave you to the final look and the outro. All right, girlies, that was the final outfit. I hope you loved the video. As per usual, I will have links to all of the outfits or similar items in the description box down below, along with my social media links. If you want to follow me off of YouTube, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and hello, Pinterest. And of course, if you watch till the end of this video, I'm going to guess we vibe. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the freaking fam and turn your post notifications on. Because like I said, I have new videos every single weekend and I post almost daily on shorts. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you really want to support the channel, make sure you give it a thumbs up on your way out. And if you did like the video, which I hope you did, if you gave it a thumbs up, then make sure you check out these videos because you will absolutely love them as well. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you next weekend. Bye.